Hey, I'm Andrea, and I'm here today with Brett, and we are going to check out the Halo device. Fantastic. All right, so you can you tell me a little bit more about what I'm looking at? Yeah, so this is a, it's a neurostimulator for athletes, and you wear it before your training, and it stimulates your brain so you get more out of your workouts. Uh, a lot of the benefits of training are your brain is always optimizing itself to better control your body. Well, you can stimulate it so your neurons are better at firing together. That's how learning happens. So you get better faster because your brain gets better faster. Great. Um, well, I want to try that because I definitely would like to improve my workouts. All right. So, um, what I've heard is we, we put some water on here to get the electrodes, mm -hmm. and then I just put it on. Yeah, and let me right. just uh, get a next little spray here. Okay. 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 One of the things that I heard that was pretty interesting is uh, for weightlifters in the very first stages when they're doing weightlifting, most of it is not their muscles changing, but the way that their brain is changing and talking with exactly. their muscles. Exactly. So this is a way to make sure that I'm optimizing that beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Even, even strength is a skill. It's all about how well can your brain control it. Yeah. Michael Phelps popularized that with all of his uh, visioning before he did his right, uh, right, right. His lessons. Okay, so we're in the app right now. Okay, so we're in we're in the app, and uh, it's it's already realized that it's on your head, and it's making great contact. Great. So, uh, and what you have dialed up here is the you know your your motor cortex, the different parts control, as you know, different parts control different parts of your body. So, this is a stimulation that's routed to the parts that can that are responsible for your hands and fingers. Right. All right, you're about to see this for the first time. I have never done TDCS before. So we'll pick hands and fingers, yep. left. I'm gonna yep. click start. Exactly. So I hear an audio sound. And it's ramping up. Oh, feels a little warm. Yeah. So now it's started, you feel free to adjust it. And, uh, and the, the way you pair this with your workout yeah. is you'd, um, a lot of athletes use this at the start of their workout, uh, whether warming up, stretching, doing foam rollers, um, and then you know, after the end of the 20 minutes. Um, there you go. Stretch. And does it change at all? Is it, it's not responsive to my brain? It would be a constant. It's not. It's, it's a constant simulation. Because the key is, the key is that it's paired with the neural activity from whatever you're doing, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, um, you know, whether it's piano playing or um, bench pressing or your, your tennis stroke or whatever. It's all you know, the patterns of activity mm -hmm. in that movement. It's just reinforced by the stimulation, and that's what that's what makes your brain specifically optimized for that. Great. It definitely tingles. This is interesting. So let's see what it feels like if I put it down a little. And what is the clinical range that people usually work on? So, so all the science says um, one to two minutes. Okay. So and when you uh, when you start out at the midline, it's one point four minutes. Okay. It goes up and down. In people that you have worked with, what was one of the outcomes you were most excited about? Yeah, um, yeah. One of the most excited was the uh, the U.S. national ski and snowboard team. So we worked with the, uh, the ski jumpers, mm -hmm. and they loved to measure things. Um, we did a, a, a three week training program with them, um, and they worked on the, the smoothness and the power of their jumps. Okay. So it's training. So everybody gets better. Mm -hmm. But this was a double blind and randomized sham controlled study. Okay. And the sham group got 18% better, and okay. the stimulated group got 13, uh, 31% better. Wow. Was everyone upset that they were in the sham group? <laughs> they all wanted to be <laughs> yeah, in the I, one that I, got I, a lot I think, I, I think a, lot of the, a lot of the sham group went on to actually, to actually use it for real, so. Yeah. Let's see what's up. All right. Well, thank you. I don't have any, do you have anything else I should think about or know about? No, just, uh, you know, the key is, um, it's all about the interaction with the training. You know, you, if you use it sitting on your couch, you just get better sitting on your couch. So pair it with quality training, deep practice, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and thank you. Yeah, thank you.